Reporting in, uh, I think it's uh, Politico. Maybe this is the Washington Post. House Republicans met with with uh, President Trump. And they're trying to pass a budget bill, a spending bill. It's got all sorts of uh, Donald Trump's campaign promises in it. A see-through uh, wall that is solar with the, uh, with the country of Mexico. Uh, God knows what else. Defense hawks, conservatives in uh, the House caucus, who probably also are terribly bigoted about transgender folks, did not it wanted the Pentagon to ban funding sex reassignment operations. Now understand, if you're in the military, your health care, and we've had uh, military personnel call into this program, active in, uh, uh, in vets, call and say, you know, when I was on a military base, is everything. You don't even contemplate it. Uh, Viagra, apparently. The military spends more on Viagra than it does on sex reassignment operations. Significantly more, is my understanding. But because House Republicans, some members are just a-holes, uh, they wanted to ban Pentagon from funding sex reassignment operations. And apparently Trump heard that and then just decided we're going to ban transgender folks from the military. It may also have been uh, Steve Bannon's idea. There was another report that this was going to put pressure on senators, uh, Democratic senators, uh, who are running for re-election in the uh, Rust Belt. Because I guess the presumption is, is that there is... Um, enough transphobia out there that it will drive people to the polls. It's certainly something that they tried in, uh, and successfully to a certain extent, the Republicans did in 2004 with uh, George Bush's campaign. Heitkamp in North Dakota came out with a pretty good statement against it yesterday. Against the ban. Yep, and she's up in 2018. And, well, and you know who provided, frankly, the sort of oxygen in the room to do that is Orrin Hatch who is a Mormon. I don't know where Mormons stand on transgender issues, but at the very least, um, they're not terribly known for their liberal social perspective. And he basically just came out and said, this is ridiculous. And it is, it's ridiculous. I mean, you've got, uh, the military apparently was not contacted about this. Mattis has been trying to avoid this question for an, you know, extended period of time, because he doesn't want to get involved in this. It's ridiculous. And it's just, you know, one more... You, you couple something like this with Trump speech in Youngstown, Ohio, where he talks about the immigrants infecting our society and slicing up beautiful 15-year-old girls, chopping them up. You know, you just, you have more and more people who are already living with a certain amount of fear, and it gets worse. I sent you that email. Do you have that email that I sent you last night on the sound? A woman, uh, where was this? Okay, this is in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Matt's, uh, Matt's stomping grounds. A woman who apparently is a CPA, right? Theoretically, I don't know how they're doing in, uh, in, in Fargo financially, but if you're CPA... economy is good in North Dakota. If you're a CPA, I imagine you're doing okay. So I don't know if it's the, sort of the economic pressures that are really uh, impacting her. Or uh, maybe it's that cross around her neck that is uh, guiding her, her principles. But... Um, don't know how this altercation started, but it's being videotaped by a woman whose voice you can hear. Uh, she's got a bit of an accent. 
shooting video of a woman who is uh, basically yelling into her car. Here, here it is. Right you, now, you, you, and you I don't give a damn. Do you think you're, a, you're a racist person? And I'm not going back to my I'm, country. I'm American. Okay, I'm I don't American. care. You're not American. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're gonna, We're gonna kill all of you. Okay. We're gonna kill, kill every one of you fat. fucking Muslims. You're fat. You can't do anything. It has nothing you to do. You can't do anything. Here I'm making a video, and I'm gonna show Make it to the police. Car. I'm gonna show it to the police. Okay. A do fat. The police a fat. Why are you in our country anyway? I'm gonna call the police. Why are you in our country anyway? I'm gonna call the police. Yes. Jesus loves you, but apparently she does not. I mean, this is the type of, uh, you know, this is, this is what's being engendered. It's not, which is, and I, I don't want people to mistake what I'm saying. It's not like this stuff hasn't existed, whether you're transgender, uh, lesbian or gay, or Muslim, or Latino, African American. Uh, but it is being heightened and used in our society today. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with the transgender ban. Hi folks, Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.